On Tuesday the 2nd of August, I was told my dad Andy Bonus had gone missing. I didn't go to the St Johnson game on the Saturday because I was struggling mentally uh, with the situation that we've found ourselves in as a family. Today is now Monday the 15th of August and there's still no sign of him. Albeit there have been alleged sightings, which does give us hope uh, and the police are doing their best to follow up on possible leads. On Saturday the 13th of August, I decided it was time to live life as normally as possible again and that's until my dad comes home. I travelled up to Pataudry on my own in hope that Stevie Hamill's first game in charge uh, since being appointed mother or manager can make me smile for the first time in a long time. I want everyone watching today to treat this vlog as normally as possible. It's a, just a normal match day vlog. Enjoy. Here we are, Pataudry. I'm a far cry away from saying I'm hoping for a repeat performance of last season when we came up here, but you never know what's going to happen. Half time at Todre is one each. Uh, you know, 
we're not actually delighted with how Motherwell have been playing so far. We've had an abundance of corners, we've had the bulk of possession, and uh, you know, on another day we could be ahead of in, in this tie. You know, uh, I mean Aberdeen scored with their one proper attempt on target, um, and apart from that, they've been lucky to still be in the game. Uh, but hi, I'm really delighted with how we've been playing so far. Uh, it's so much better than when we were when we were here with Alexander. I mean, when we were here with Alexander, we won two 0 but we were awful in that first half. This was a massive improvement so far, and here's hoping that we can go and uh, win the game in the second half. Second half, a bit of kick off. Win the wheel. Defensively, we were all over the place there. But there's still plenty of time to go. Yeah! 
Rockin got it, Aberdeen 2, Motherwell 3. What a result for Stevie Hamill's first game. Fucking yes! I did not expect us to go up to Aberdeen or win 3-2 with all the positive media about Aberdeen this season. Uh, of course they won 4-1 last week against St Mirren who we struggled against and managed to sneak a, a victory. You know, I, I did fear for the worst. Uh, you know, I, I thought we would lose about 3-0 but to go up there and dictate the game to them in the first half, we were one each going into the break, you know, it was we had so many chances, or we had so much of the ball, and Aberdeen scored their first attempt on target. I mean, they should have scored a 0 0 when Saul slipped and Majowski was through and he dicked the ball over Kelly and he also dicked it over the bar. So we were let off there, and of course, Sean Goss forced a fantastic save from Roos uh, as well. But where Spittle's goal was very welcome, and it was. He, t he took it well, uh, but I, I thought he was going to miss it. Uh, and then we just continued pressing Aberdeen. We almost pressed them back to the 1980s. Uh, and okay, Majowski scoring just before half time. I thought that was uh, going to basically change the game because I, I mean it changed Stevie Hamill's team talk at half time. And then Aberdeen coming in the second half and scoring within two minutes. I thought, oh, this could be another one of those days in which it was another glorious failure. But thankfully it wasn't, and we showed the resilience to come back, slattery with the equaliser before, of course, Kevin Van Veen scoring to make it 3-2. You know, I think we deserved that. And uh, there were a few Aberdeen fans that approached me after the game, uh, said, look, you, did it. you absolutely deserved that. I mean, at one point it was 3-2 going on 6 or 7. Um, and that is ultimately one of the best Motherwell displays I have seen in a long time. Probably since the 2 0 win over Hearts at home last season. Uh, it was the only good good uh, display that we put up last season as well. Um, so I'm absolutely delighted we won 3 2. Uh, that's four wins and five at Pathology of Red. Um, and uh, does it, so does that mean we get to keep Aberdeen? Todry as a training ground. No, but I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. Uh, and f from all the shit that I have been deal dealing with the last couple of weeks, I mean, the disappointment in Ireland, uh, getting slapped off Sligo, um, to then my dad going missing, um, and of course getting beat by St. Johnson last week, that f it felt like oh, it was almost right about how my life's going at the moment because I've been through so much shit and I'm like I have no problem saying this online because I think as someone who does post a lot of his stuff online about his life I, I think I need to show some of the negative stuff as well as some of the some of the good stuff and um, you know I'm I'm going through a lot and I feel like I'm dealing with it all right, but at the same time, that's just me on the outside. Deep, deep down inside, I am struggling like hell. Um, Dad, if you're watching this, because I know you do watch my videos, please come back. That's me being as sincere as I possibly can in this situation. Um, but yeah, once, once again, I am thankful Motherwell putting in that display on Saturday. Uh, I, I needed it more than anything. Um, um, I must say, Dean Cornelius was my man of the match. He was absolutely everywhere in the game. Uh, I thought Kevin Van Veen was good, even though he's still probably in pain relief. Um, yeah, I could go through everyone in the team. Played really well, and it was a solid team performance. 
But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and if you've watched this far, thank you. I really appreciate you. And yeah, I'll see you later. Take care.